بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معكم عادل عبد الرازق أهلا بكم في سلسلة التجويد المبسط Welcome to this new introduction the first class in simplified تجويد with عادل عبد الرازق إن شاء الله in this lesson in this تجويد lesson we will answer the following questions What is تجويد Why it is so important to learn Tajweed? What do you need to recite Quran correctly? What are the term Makharij? What is Makharij? What are the Makharij of the letters? What are the Sifat of the letters? The definition of Tajweed, we have two definitions, linguistic definition and applied definition. The linguistic definition Tajweed, the word Tajweed is derived from the Arabic root Jawada, Jawada, which means to make something well, to improve or to beautify. The applied definition of Tajweed is to articulate each letter from each articulation point and given the letter its rights and do of characteristics. Inshallah, we're going to explain this. The goal of Tajweed is to prevent or preserve your tongue from making mistake when you are reciting, when you are pronouncing the glorious Quran. Makharij and Sifat. You're going to see we, we have many letters have the same articulation points or they are very close in their articulation points. So how, how can I differentiate between them? So Makharij and Sifat is very important. To differentiate between each letter if the two letters or if some letters have the same articulation points or if they are very close in their articulation point how to distinguish between them we distinguish between the letters by sifat sifat means the characteristics of the letter طيب. look at this picture here these twins مخارج. Makharij is what is in common between them. So they live in the same house. They look alike. They go to the same school. And other things you can add here. Sifat is what we use to differentiate between them. To distinguish between them. Sifat, they are different in their behavior and their temperament. They are different in their hobbies. They were... One wears glasses while the other not. They have different uh, school grades. The main articulation points of Arabic letters. We have the throat. The throat. We have six letters you can produce and make, pronounce from the throat. We have the oral cavity which is a space. The empty space in the mouth and the throat. The upper palate and the nasal cavity the tongue, the teeth, and the lips. These are the main articulation points that we can use or we use to produce Arabic letters. Let's compare between the articulation points and characteristics of the, of, of, of the letter Qaf and Kaf. Qaf and Kaf, they almost have the same articulation point. Or they are very close in their articulation points. We have calf here. The tongue touches the hard, hard palate, ek, ek, or part of the uh, uh, of the soft palate and part of the hard one. So ek, ek. This is a calf. While the calf, all of it, connected in touch with, with the uh, the soft palate. So. It's farther back. So, أق. أك. أك. I put a sound and I pause on the, the letter kaf to know, to make the sound clear. أك. أك. I put alif before the qaf and pause on the qaf to see, to feel the qaf, the articulation point of the qaf. So, I say, أق. أق. أك. So we know that makharij, the articulation point of qaf and the kaf, 
almost the same or they are very close so if someone didn't pronounce the letter from the correct art articulation point or didn't give the letter its due characteristics he's gonna change one letter to into another and this is gonna change the meaning as we see here in this example here in surat in surat al shuara prophet ibrahim alayhi salam said وَلَا تُخْزِنِي يَوْمَ يُبْعَثُونَ يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ And do not disgrace me on the day all will be resurrected, the day when neither wealth nor children will be of any benefit. Only those who come before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a pure heart will be saved. Al-Qaf huna, the letter Qaf in the word biqalb or qalb, if someone makes it or change it into a kaf. Qalb means heart. So qalb, qaf, lam and ba, heart. If I change this qaf into a kaf, it's going to be kalb, qalb, kalb. Because the qaf and the kaf very close in their articulation points. If I mix the qaf or change it into a kaf, this is going to change the meaning. Because kalb means dog. Only those come before Allah with a pure dog will be saved. No, of course, this is not the meaning. So changing one letter or changing the characteristics of the letter will it change the meaning also another example here we have the same letter the letter known in five different ayat and we have five ways five different ways to pronounce the letter known so man amila man ya'mal man la man biyadihi man kana all these nouns are known sakina followed by different letters followed by kaf followed by ba, nun sakina followed by lam, nun sakina followed by ya, nun sakina followed by ayn. We have five ways to pronounce this nun. Man amila, I'm going to make it with a clear, no hiding, no merging, clear sound. Man amila, nun sakina followed by ya, I'm going to make it, I'm going to erase the nun and make a nasal sound with the ya. Man ya'mal. مَنْ يَعْمَلْ نون ساكنة followed by لام I'm gonna erase the noon and no nasal sound no غنة مَلْ لا not مَنْ لا مَلْ لا you erase the noon completely مَلْ لا here I'm gonna change the noon into a meme مَنْ بِيَدِهِ مَنْ بِيَدِهِ نون ساكنة followed by كاف I'm gonna hear when I say the noon. If you try to say an, feel the tip of your tongue. You're gonna find the tip of your tongue is touching the upper teeth from inside. But with this one, because noon second are followed by calf, you're gonna hang your tongue back. Don't make the tip of your tongue touch the teeth. So I'm gonna say man kana, man kana, and this is ikhfa. We have five different rules. For the same letter, why would change the way of pronunciation? Because of the letter comes after this noon second. Inshallah, more details will come about these rules inshallah in the future. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me. Jazakumullahu khayran. See you inshallah next lesson. Allahnu al jali fi al huruf. Lahn jali in letters. We're going to learn about what is lahn, what is lahn jali, and other things inshallah. Jazakumullahu khayran. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته